Hi everybody, today I'm going to be doing a layout that features this sketch from L Studio. I'm going to turn the sketch 90 degrees though when I create my layout. I just got a shipment of the Chamel Go Now Go papers, so that's what I'll be using, and there's the sketch again on my iPad. I was super excited to begin using these papers because I've had them for a while, but I didn't have any of the embellishments and those just came in. So what I did there is I just cut the branding strip off of a piece of Basil Admiral cardstock and I'm going to use that to frame my layout. I often like framing my layouts with something it just gives them a finished edge, at least that's what it looks like to me. I chose this aqua wave paper from Go Now Go, it is called Date. And you can see there that I've turned already decided because I'm using photos that um, they're four by sixes in the um, sketch they were horizontal orientation but I have these vertically oriented photos and oftentimes I'll use two horizontal photos or two vertical photos kind of like side by side in this case I decided to do something different and stack them and I really like how this turned out and this sketch was great for that I grabbed that yellow vehicle paper there from Go Now Go and it is called Drive. It, I, at first I thought it was taxis, but it's really not all taxis. Um, it's lots of different vans and cars and that kind of a thing. So since this, these pictures are of my grandson at a local children's museum um, playing or, or working, quote, working on a car, I thought that would be a cute um, a cute paper to use with it and he's in one of them he's working in the quote engine and on the other part he is changing a tire which my title is going to come from the changing the tire um, piece of it so I'll talk about that in a little bit so I cut um, kind of a rectangle there of that vehicle paper and I very quickly have all of my papers done so now I am going to go through the stickers from the Go Now Go collection, just to kind of look and see what's out there, like what could I be using for embellishments. And then I also looked at the buttons, the wood buttons from Go Now Go, and they had, um, and also the chipboard as well too. So on the chipboard, the chipboard stickers, there is a car, um, and, and they're actually called stickers. There's there's a car and I accidentally stuck that to my paper so I very carefully removed that before I put it on the wax paper. There's a car which of course is appropriate plus the car and that's blue. There and then on the wood buttons there there's a ta taxi button. So I thought I'm not planning on taking any taxis anytime soon so I um, thought I would use that. Now I just changed my ATG roll and was hoping that that would get rid of the problem that I'm having. I might need to take it off and just really clean the whole thing at some point, but you know, when I'm down in my scrap room, I want to be scrapping, not changing my HT, not changing my ATG and um, cleaning it. So we'll see what happens there. Anyway, on this layout, I am using some things that are a little bit more themey than I tend to use. So, you know, the car paper, the car chipboard, and the little taxi button. But um, I really like the way those all support the story. So that's why I decided to, to use them. All right, so now I have that down. I kind of have an idea, and I am sort of following where the things are placed on the sketch, just so that you know that as I'm working with these papers and I decided I wanted to move those photos a little bit more to the right side of the layout because I wanted that taxi button to have more space on the left side plus I thought I might want to use like an extra piece of paper or something over on that left side I wasn't sure what that was going to be yet now I have the ephemera from go now go um, they are called die cut shapes in this particular um, collection and I'm just kind of going through and looking to see if there's anything that I can use here. I'm kind of looking for uh, some sort of journaling spot as well. That's the other thing that I'm thinking about is what do I want to put my journaling on? I know, I have an idea at this point what I want the um, title to be. 
So I select that little tag and also that little uh, ticket die cut and those are both from the die cut shapes. Then I went back through some of my older Chamel product to try to see things that I could use. I thought about using that little uh, arrow border strip there. That won't stay there. I grabbed my um, stickers there. I thought about using those stickers as well. I'm just kind of pulling out anything that I think might work. I do play a little bit with using this tag, um, but the, and I believe that is from True Stories, if I remember correctly, from a pack of tags that they had. Um, but I'm not going to not going to use this. I like the idea of those tags, but really the sentiments almost to me seem a lot of times almost more like card driven. And so I have a hard time using these. I'm not, not quite sure what I'm going to do. I still have quite a few of them left over. Maybe I need to bring them out and sit them on the side of my desk so that I remember to use them. That's part of the issue. Um, I do that. I usually have a pile of things that I want to use up you know, a small pile of things I want to use up sitting on the left side of my desk. That tends to work out. You know, if you've seen videos lately, I'm using a lot of um, old crepe paper sticker sheets. I thought it looked at those wood rulers and some cork pieces. Lots of different things here. And those are all, I believe, from True Stories. These are, some of these are from Starshine now. Thinking again about colors, something on that left side there. And I'm not finding anything that I think is going to do it. I'm still looking for what could I use. I need to take up some space in this layout. And I'm not sure what that is until I see this four by six card. And it says, because this is what awesome is made of. And that's from the um, True Stories collection. It's from the, uh, 12 by 12 sheet of cut aparts. I don't have the name of that paper because I actually have the paper pad. I really like how that just, it adds a little pop of something. So it's, it's kind of a pinky red. So I've got blue, I have aqua, I have yellow and I have red. So it's really the primary colors, but primary colors with a little bit of a twist, if that makes any sense. So I kind of thought about using this little red diagonal stripe here. It, it, that was also kind of a pinky red, so it matched the awesome card a little bit there. I was toying with using some of these Polaroids from this Polaroid cut apart. Just kind of, again, looking to see is there anything else I want to use, thinking about what I can use to go under that taxi there. or that taxi button. And then I found this strip and I don't remember what the words say on that. They were really awesome. But when I did it, I realized the strip, once I cut this apart, I realized that the words on the strip really went almost the full 12 by 12 length and that wasn't gonna work so much for me because the pictures aren't uh, 12 inches tall. They're about, uh, they're about 10 and a, three quarters or so, if I remember correctly. So what I ended up doing is I cut the words off and I'm going to just use this strip of stars. I just, it, the colors were a really, really good match for the blues on the sheet. And then even though the stars are, are 12 by 12, I can just cut them off and they'll work really well here. So and you can see that's what I'm gonna do. I just took the edge of that and now I have the strip on there. And I really like the way that looks. It gives a little bit of interest to the left side of that page there. Kind of highlights the photos a little bit more too. All right, so I just went and I cut um, a little bit of a border or I, not cut the border off, I um, straightened up that awesome card there. And I'm going to glue that down. I'm thinking the title is going to go above this cluster so uh, I can get that card down pretty easily. And I did add some 
ATG adhesive to that card or the car I should say the chipboard car just because I don't trust chipboard adhesive you know most of my chipboard adhesive hasn't fallen off but you know who, who knows what's gonna happen years from now I'm still kind of playing with where that taxi button is going to land and it, it eventually is not going to land in that spot so I did like that dream um, cut apart there just because you know he's pretending to be a mechanic and fix a car but when I start working through my title I decide I don't like that as well so kind of the story behind this my title is going to end I'm gonna play with it a little bit but it's going to end up being I got this dad and the reason I chose that title is a couple of days before I took my grandson to this um, to this children's museum his mom had a flat tire and his dad had to go change the flat tire for her and um, it's not something he has a lot of experience uh, doing any he, he posted some funny things on Facebook about you know being a guy and changing the tire and all of that so my grandson just went right up to this car and he kind of started playing with changing that quote changing the tire but the tires did really come on and off uh, and I just thought it was so funny considering what his dad had been um, doing earlier in the week so uh, I since I this happened in February when we were at this museum so it's now September so it was quite a few months ago but I've known since the beginning that I really needed to title this I got this or something like that and so I'm thinking about titling it I got this one dad is what I'm thinking about but I don't love how when I do that the middle row is so much um, longer than the other rows there and yeah and I could have moved one over and this uh, or moved one down to the bottom row but I don't know it just I'm gonna play with this a little bit as you see as you can see and this and dad got a little bit long or I got this dad so what I decided is I'm going to put I got and this down and decide whether I want to do dad or not there and once I kind of get things down I realize I had a lot of space in the letters and that dad is going to fit so that's making me happy happier <laughs> and I actually did not put any extra adhesive on these chipboard letters now that I think about it so we'll see how that holds up um, this alpha by the way is um, a Schmel alpha or it's, it's a thicker chipboard alpha from one of the Chamel collections it's called hipster and the color is black so then I decided what I wanted to do is I had that little ticket uh, die cut that I can journal on and I decided that I wanted that up at the top because it would give me three areas of embellishment if I could find something for the left side and then I put the the taxi button up there and I found this little banner from the true stories collection from the small sticker book and it says embrace creativity which he's being creative right there so I decided that would be a really good match and it is that pinky red again because that is from the same collection as the awesome card is from and I'm just adding some of my AT my um, foam tape there to the back of the sticker just so that pops up because the car will be dimensional the taxi button is dimensional and then this banner will be dimensional over here and then as I'm uh, sitting there I saw this little chipboard star from the uh, starshine chipboard pack there and I decided I like those two things together so I'm going to play a little bit with how that needs to go but it just echoes the star on the left side so that was kind of a nice um, match there it adds a little bit more blue up into that cluster 
at the top, right? And I just like the way you now have the three clusters framing the photos and the awesome card. And then the journaling is in two out of the three clusters. And I'll just quickly journal here. Um, I am going to, I'll kind of tap the tag at the end of this to show you that there is no, there's no twine in there. You'll see it in the still, still shots. I just took some black and white We Are Memory Keepers twine and added it to the tag. I'm just about done. There'll be a still shot and some detail shots here. Hope you are all well. Bye.